All right, we are back for our small block Chevy cylinder head rebuild part two. We finally got our valves in. Here we are, the exhaust valve, nice and shiny. Nice shiny intake valves, all separately packaged, which is kind of cool. Here are our old valves. Big difference in look at those. They're kind of dirty right now because they've been on my bench here for a little while. Gross. Nice. We're going to continue on the same pace that we were doing the other day. I'm going to do one cylinder head, lap the valves, clean it all up, assemble it. I don't really see a point in doing both heads on the same video because it'll be just basically repetition. And this will keep the video nice and short and it'll get the point across. We have our valves laid out in the order that I'm gonna be lapping them. And I'm gonna keep these in the same order. This exhaust one stays with this exhaust port, intake, and so on. Lapping compound is here. And there's lots of ways to lap valves. I usually use a drill because it's a lot faster. And um, I find it a lot easier than using one of the old wooden uh, valve lappers with the suction cup thing on it. So I'll show you how I do it. So let's do one here in real time to show what I do and how I do it. And then we'll get time lapse going for the rest. So here's our first valve. It's the exhaust valve that's gonna be in the first port right here. So I take a little bit of lapping compound and smear it along the face that's gonna be seating up against the valve seat. Make sure there's lots on there. Make sure not to get any on the valve shaft at all up here, because if you do, it'll grind away at the valve guide while you're spinning it. And then you could have an issue with loose valves. And nobody needs that. So we put it in the valve guide. Make sure it's seated, give it a couple turns. I just like to lightly clamp the drill onto the valve um, out toward the end so we got lots of room to move the valve in and out like this and just slowly go in and out with the drill and then change direction. And then pull the drill off to check it to make sure it's wearing nice and even. And here we can see, there we go. We're starting to get a nice even pattern in the middle of the valve here. So we know it's seating well. And I'll go over it a couple more times just to make sure because I do see one little line there where it's not seated yet. Um, so just do that a couple times until the valve and the seat are uniform and there's no uh, pitting or anything in it and you're good to go. Here we can see we have all the valves lapped. They all have nice uniform lap marks. I guess you would call it. The compound is still on um, each one of these seats here. So I kept the head in the same position as it was. So each valve fits in its own um, 
cylinder or valve guide so that we know that each one is lapped correctly. All I need to do now is clean out the old lapping compound and give these heads a real good wash because you can see that over a week they took on some dirt and some dust and I cut up some aluminum with the plasma cutter and that made a bit of a mess and had to grind it down and stuff so I'll clean that real good. Usually I just use brake cleaner. It's really good stuff. It's not flammable so it won't be uh, we won't be concerned about any sparks or anything like that and it washes everything away really good and then it just uh, evaporates. This was rotten. That's looking a little bit better. I always like to get the air nozzle and blow these out too. Gets rid of any loose dirt or any old brake cleaner that isn't evaporated yet. Now I gotta clean the valve caps and rotators and shrouds and all that junk. So I got some gun wash here. Just put it on a little hanger thing and swish it around a little bit. This is just to get any old residue off of the uh, valve parts, any old dirt, anything like that, any old gunk. This will get it off really well. And they come out pretty clean. And I put them up here with the rest of the parts. Yeah, now they're pretty well clean looking. Everything looks good. I'll use brake cleaner and then dry it. And then I do the same thing with the spring. It goes in looking like this and it would take forever to get that all out with a rag or whatever. Just hook it in here. And out it comes. Nice and clean. A little bit of brake cleaner to get rid of the uh, gun wash, which will evaporate also, but it looks a whole lot better than it did. I didn't realize it until just now, but those extra long marine studs are perfect for holding the head in the vise. Just went to put the valves in and realized I don't have the seals. They're not here. They're not here. I have no idea where they are. I guess there'll be a part three. Thanks for watching everybody, have a good night.